Hello Ratbags, it's Jay Plays Games. Welcome back to the ARC News. It's been a while guys, I've had a few days off and I'm ready to go. I'm going to give you a recap of what's happened all weekend, what to expect with the coming update tomorrow, hopefully if it releases on time, and some of the other events and information you're going to need for the update this week. So first off, if we take a look at the update notes on the actual forum website, you can take a look and see what's coming. All PC equivalent content up through 254 per pixel painting, the center mega update, a super secret new feature, primitive plus mega update, more notes to come. Now, there's not much more going on about the super secret new feature. I have been digging, I have been trying to bribe people, I cannot find any information about this. But as soon as I do, of course, I'll be the first one to tell you guys exactly what's happening. So I'm going to go through exactly what you're going to be getting in final detail in a little while. But I want to talk about some of the other things that are happening. You may have seen some of this or you may have heard about it already, but ARK is doing a Valentine's Day event. In this event, you can win some new hairstyles and a love heart emote. But they've already faced criticism and changed it already. Initially, there was a 5% chance to drop a box of chocolates when you mate any two animals. These box of chocolates would give you a full heal or advance 50% of a creature's tame infinity. Now, it's a simple maths. If you mate 100 times, 5% of that time, you may get a box of chocolates when they mate. So a lot of people were complaining, saying that it was way too little. You'd have to realistically mate hundreds and hundreds of times to stand any good chance of trying to get a new emote or trying to get one of these box of chocolates so that you can improve mating. So how do you actually get these emotes and how do you actually get the hairstyle? Well, like I said, you need these chocolates. They have now increased it to 10% chance to drop the box of chocolates. You will need five of these, cook them in a cooking pot and you will get one of the brand new emotes or the brand new hairstyles. These emotes and hairstyles are permanent. Once you've unlocked them, they'll stay unlocked. So for people that are, you know, really focused on it and really want something new in their emote collection, I'm sure you're going to have fun doing it. To me, it seems like just a bit too much of a gimmick and a bit much of a hard work, especially if you only play on official servers. Can you imagine trying to mate 200, 300 times to try and get enough chocolates for all these emotes? But there are some other benefits to the event as well. The event will be running till around the 20th of February. It may come a little bit later on console as obviously we're waiting for the console update to arrive on the 14th of February. But as ever, ARK has a tendency to hype exactly when the date for the update will drop. But there are some good boosts. Mate boosted range increased by 2%, mate speed and mate recovery increased by 3%, creature maturing and egg incubation speed has increased by 3%, baby food consumption has been decreased by one third. So basically your dinos are going to get it on. Stay tuned for me, I've got a very special let's play celebrating the end of season 1 where we're going to be visiting the love dino doctor himself. So that's Valentine's Day done and dusted. What else are we looking forward to? You guys have been waiting for some bug fixes massively to the centre for a while and for it to be updated with some more recent dinosaurs and saddles. Not to mention Primitive Plus has been in much need of a decent update fixing many, many bug fixes and crashes. So starting off with Ben Burkhart, the creator of the center, he asked for feedback a good four weeks ago, asking people to let him know about any issues, any problems they had with the center. You lot definitely gave him a big list. He has fixed a bundle of things. I'm not going to go through all of them. You can go and check this out. I'll leave the link down below for yourself. But it looks like some actual TLC has gone into the center map, so that's great to see. Hopefully it will refix the problem of no dinos in the Redwood. Have you experienced that? Because I have. Lots of people have been saying that there are no dinosaurs in the Redwood Forest. He's also added the Mega Tuso. That big giant squid has got a bigger version, so go and see if you can hunt him down too. He's also added the two new artifacts that you can find in underwater caves on the islands. These will now be on the center, so go and check them out. I may possibly do a location guide as to where exactly they are on the centre map. Let me know if you would like to see that. Let's hope the centre update does have everything that the island does. But, word of warning, you will not be able to get the Broodmother and Megapithecus tech tier items by destroying them two bosses. 
So if you're thinking you're going to get double elements or engrams for the tech tier by defeating the two bosses together, sadly I don't think that's the case. I don't think it's been added to it. The only way you can actually get tech tier is by playing on the island. It's not even available on Scorched. I've got a separate video telling you guys exactly what's happening with tech tier, what it's going to look like tomorrow on console. So we'll go through some no's and yays and let you guys know exactly what you need and what you don't need. Ben Burkhart's not the only one that's been busy though. Complex Minded, the creator of Primitive Plus, has also just been as busy asking for bug fixes and going massive in on some new items and basically new looks of all the building materials. So the big mega update for the center and a big mega update for Primitive Plus, including added some of the latest saddles that we've been missing. Things like the Cat Pro saddle, which should have been in there a while ago, to be fair. These saddles are very old. Megala saddle, the Pachywina saddle, and of course, hopefully, we're going to be getting the Squid and the Ferrazino saddle too. You'll also be able to use the camera on Primitive Plus, and they've got some new items. Advanced Workbench, 25% reduction on all engrams crafted. The Yurt, a tent-like structure that can be placed, picked up, also allows for placing some structures. And the Recurve Bow, additional damage multiplier for all arrows. They've fixed a bunch of things to do with lumber that have seemed to have been a problem since the game started. There's added some new structures for lumber tiers, glass window, glass window frame, glass door frame, so hopefully no more clunky looking horrible door windows. So lots and lots of good things. Again, I'm not going to go through everything here. I will leave the link down below. You can go check it out for yourself. Let me know what the issues you've been having on Primitive Plus. Have you actually been playing it? Are you looking forward to a bug update or bug fix like this? So we've gone through all the bug fixes. We've gone through all the news about the Valentine's Day. What else can we learn? So unless you've been living under a rock, we are expecting a bunch of brand new features with this update are meant to drop this week on Xbox and PlayStation 4. New mechanics, hairstyles and facial hair with real-time growing hair. You can now dye your hair, cut it using scissors. Tech tier phase one, tech engram system, element resource system, tech replicator, tech rifle, tech helmet, tech visor, tech jetpack, tech boots, tech gloves, tech rec saddle, tech transmitter and more. We've got the brand new dinosaurs, the Ovis Ares, the Basasaurus, the Baronyx and the Pelovia. You're also going to be getting the Lance so we can take jousting to the next level. And a bunch of other stuff in terms of fixes. We remain to be seeing exactly how much of this is correct exactly added to the console. But it looks like the majority of it is. Obviously Tech T is the one that most of you are going to be hyped for. As ever I will be there first showing you guys what to do with the Tech tier. Any cheats? tips, hints that I can give you guys so you can get it easier and maybe some of the locations I'll be doing arc tamed on all four of these brand new dinosaurs. So there we go that is the brand new update information coming hopefully it's going to go smoothly hopefully I'll be back tomorrow with some brand new content from the latest update. I am Plays Games. if you haven't already make sure you go and click on the bell notification sign so you get all the information delivered to your email as soon as it hits. And I'll catch you guys very soon. Bye-bye.